Hello friends, my name is Coco and you don't know me and I don't know you, but I'm very happy you're alive today. Um, I know it's late, sorry again, <laughs> but tomorrow I'll be back at work. Hopefully I'll be getting the videos back to their morning glory like they usually are, so um, I'm pretty excited about work. Um, today I was at my brother's house and I sewed some Velcro on his hat so that way he could take a patch on and off and change it up if he wanted to, so I was kind of happy I got that done. And luckily when he asked me, I've been doing a lot of sewing because of the puppets, so I'm very, very happy about that. Um, in regards to the puppets, I got the arm rod on one arm done, and I even did the carving and the wood dowel, and I'm just, I'm so proud of myself. So I would show you guys, but I'm giving Lovey a break because, um, you know, my brother and my nephews were having fun playing with her, so I think she can get some rest and <laughs> kind of chill out for a little bit. On a side note, I did ask my nephews to help me get a bug box. There is one bug in the jar still. It's a roach. Ugh, I don't really want to touch it, but it should be dead by now, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, however, I did get these bugs. I don't know if you can see them. They're already pinned, which is pretty cool. So um, it is a little tricky right now because it is the winter, so a lot of the really cool bugs are not out right now, but... Um, I think I'll just make the little tornado out of the two liter bottles um, to give to the teacher for now and show her uh, the bugs I did collect at the moment so that way she knows. Um, so it doesn't show that I wasn't doing anything with it because um, I'm one of those people who has to show I was doing stuff, I'm just not done yet. So anyway, um, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Um, I hope you had a really good Sunday, you got some rest, um, and... One thing I wanted to talk about, which I'm really excited to talk about because I asked for permission to, um, you know, talk about it, so I'm pretty happy, is uh, I did get a message um, from a person on YouTube named Kat, um, aka The Purposeful Challenger, which I like that little aka, it was kind of cute, and the little note, and I thought, man, that's a pretty good one. And I was like, when I was writing my message, I was like, I should put Coco, aka the purple pebble. <laughs> I didn't have a cool one to respond back to, but, um, you know, when I was having my low days when I read her message and it was really inspiring, um, you know, it was just keep up the good work, made me feel really good. So, uh, she had said we're like-minded individuals and I wanted to check out her channel and I really, really loved it. She has these, um, you know, goal challenges, um, spirituality challenges. I'm going to link her, uh, video and down below. So um, hopefully check them out. One thing I really liked about her goal setting challenge is uh, there was a part where she said, if you set your goal and you accomplish it and you find out that it's not what you wanted, it's okay. And I thought that was great to say because sometimes when we set a goal and we do it and it's not what we wanted, we decide, well, crap, I'm stuck in it, you know, especially um, for me going through the medical and then getting through it and graduating and getting a job and just absolutely hating it <laughs> and then realizing, oh, crap, and thinking I'm stuck in it. But it's not only that she said it's okay, which was a really nice thing to hear, but she also said that sometimes, you know, we have to figure those things out so we know what we don't want. And I thought that was really clever to say. So please, please, please check out her videos. If you have me on Facebook, I will share her video as well. But again, link is down below. <laughs> it's a little too below. There you go. <laughs> it's a little too close at the first time. But I do encourage you guys to check it out. She has like these spirituality challenges and I do like those as well. Um, but I don't want to give away too much from her videos or else you guys are going to say, well, you already told me. So <laughs> check them out though. It's really, really good, especially because I think... Um, sometimes when we lack ambition and we lack the drive to do stuff, having a challenge or a goal to kind of work towards does kind of help you get out of that funk a little bit. So I hope you guys are doing well. I love you all. Remember, I am very happy you're alive today. Don't forget it. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. Bye-bye.